uh, week 10 on this hive. This will be our first inspection. Considering all we did last week was make sure the queen was released and Ooh. get her out of there and get out of there. So this will be the first week we can see where they've built comb, where they haven't. Um, like I said, it's, it's day 10, so I don't expect to see any capped brood. Oh, look at that, all those bees. I don't expect to see any capped brood. And uh, oh, they ate a little bit of the pollen patty, as you can see. They've been eating into it, but not much. Not enough to uh, be concerned about it. Um, try to get these guys off the feeder and out of here, but apparently they're starving. Is there, uh, they're all over the place in here. I just want to get them off. You can feel the feeder. Well, this thing is practically empty. Practically empty. Let's get this out of here, and I can proceed with my high inspection. See how the girls are doing. Obviously, the wind is turned on us. A lot of bees. Oh, you like to see those bees go. Look at them all in the feeder. Oh, wow. That is. That is crazy. Okay, so I'm noticing that they're pretty much in here. Small cluster. Um, We'll see what we get here. And uh, last time I did it backwards when I numbered the frames because I was thinking front of the hive, back of the hive, and yet everybody was making fun of me. Now I can tell my videos apart. Okay, so we got that all squared away. We got ton of bees in the feeder. Ton of bees in the feeder. These bees are really going after the food, not sure why. Not as much as the, more, way more than the first one. Okay, nine's got nothing. Had one sole bee on it. Eight's got nothing. Seven looks like it's got nothing. Oh, maybe a hair of a drawn comb. Okay, six. Six is, whoa, that is drawn out, look at that. Okay, it's all nectar. Now I know where all the food's going. A little bit of pollen in there. Now this queen is also gonna be white because it is the 2016 year. So, let me get the leaves out of here. I don't know where those came from. So six is uh, almost on one side, almost all the way down. So these are, uh, these are serious cone builders. Look at this frame, holy mackerel. This is all nectar and pollen also. And it is heavy. I don't think I felt a frame this heavy. Even in the first hive. And it's got a lot of bees. I don't see the queen. Do not see the queen. This one is pretty. This thing is flying. This, this hive is flying. This hive is a flying. Okay. Frame four. Uh, I'm seeing very little larva. Ooh, look at that different stages. Little guys, medium guys, big guys. Can you get that? See how white that is? 
Can you see all that? Mm -hmm. And there's a few eggs over here. So I know she's been here in three days. Wow, this is a package mate. This, these guys are unbelievable. They are flying with the comb. They're gonna be in the second box before my first hive and they're 10 days behind. Okay, so let's move on to frame three. Frame three is, whoa, look at this. Once again, this one is really heavy also. I don't see any eggs on this frame. Whew, this one is a lot of larva. Okay, I'm gonna try to follow my fingers in here, but right, see all that? That's all larva. This whole, we see a white dot anywhere? I don't see a white dot. Okay, mm -hmm. nope. We have very small larvae, like just hatched eggs. I mean, tiny little curves in there. Can you see that in there? Yeah. Try again in there. Over here, Ant. Where my finger is. Good job. Whew, they are. They are on fire. It's my queen somewhere. So, so frame two is pretty drawn out on one side, a good two thirds of the way on one side, and nothing on the other. Okay, well, I didn't see my queen, but I did see eggs. So, where does that leave us? Oh, we know she was in here three days ago. But they are definitely filling out frames.